people return to your spaces? Please return to your seats, finish your side conversations. Um, thank you all for bearing with this difficult process. This is, I'm sure, not easy for anyone who is either gone or still in this room. Um, so thank you for your understanding. Thank you. And I'm going to apologize to all of you, but I'm not going to apologize for what I said. And I meant that. Okay. Now. Teddy. Okay. Please. Please. We, the facilitation team, really needs order right now. I'm going to concentrate carefully on what I'm about to say. Uh, we have just convened. It is very difficult to facilitate a conversation with people going in and out of GA as much as just has happened in the last 30 minutes to an hour. Um, it is very distracting for us, and it's very difficult to know how to proceed when that happens. If it keeps happening, I think all of us are done facilitating for the evening. Okay? And with that said, uh, we have just discussed how to proceed, um, and we have come to the conclusion that we would like to motion to table this proposal. And I guess we're going to need to vote on that. Okay, I see a lot of dissent. Um, I'd like to ask somebody from the facilitation team to clarify why we were asking to table the proposal before moving on. Um, sure. One thing is, is half of the proposers of the proposal are not present. So that's a concern. Uh, Some it's, of the proposers are gone. They're, they're checking. There's seven this year. Okay, so seven out of nine, I guess. Um, tension okay. seems to be pretty high at the moment, and figuring out whether or not to vote on this, I think, is really difficult for most people at the moment. Go ahead. Are you done? Mm, go ahead. Um, the thing I want to say is that we are here for you guys. <clears throat> uh, it's our job to have a respectful discussion, to facilitate a respectful discussion. We can't do our jobs without you. And that requires everybody in for like, what do we talk about all the time? We don't enforce anything. You guys enforce it. So if you guys aren't going to respect the process, especially if you're accusing somebody of not respecting the process, this is when process needs to be more important than any time. So please help us help you. Seems like the motion to table the proposal had overwhelming dissent. Um, um, okay, I'm going to come forward and say that there was a lot of tension over specific accusations, and especially the fact that they are being um, on camera. We can make a motion to have those taken off of the digital media. Okay, I'm, it looks like there's a positive temp check. I'm going to make that motion right now. A uh, motion to have the specific there. Clarification, so, or is it just the crackhead meth taken out, um, or how much? I believe that was the specific one. In the order of keeping it simple, I'm going to say those accusations. I wish you could take it out. Um, and to give him, uh, the motion considers that he will do his best to, to understand. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm very confused right now. My mind is a lot of it. Yes, that he will edit it correctly with um, everything in mind. Um, what is that question? It, yes, it is. Um, that that would that would um, also have to include everything that just happened because if you take that out, you're going to have no context for 
So, I mean, in my mind, it wouldn't just be that. It would... I'm... Okay, we'll just point process. Okay, um, from what I understand, before we get going with anything else, there is a block on the uh, table currently, correct? Now, with that said, it is as demanded upon um, by GA that uh, that be taken care of first before any other uh, things happen. <coughs> Uh, I understand that I want to remove the cameras, but that is out of process. Process dictates that we take care of the immediate section. Uh, with that said, um, I don't know what way of doing process uh, to say, can we just vote on the subject? to accommodate here was making people feel more comfortable in proceeding in the voting process. Okay. I'm to take both of these into account. I will put forward this motion and possibly possibly discussion afterwards on the motion, but <laughs> I will continue to this. Just please keep in mind that it is digital media. We can do things with it. As long as are you okay with that if it's consents. Thank you. Um, okay. So what was happening before is that there was a motion to extend Teddy's time for 30 seconds. She was stopped in the middle with GAs, and then um, Josh was going to be after her, and then um, Zach was going to be closed. With GA's consent, I would like to go back to that, and then we are going to go into amendments. Or, you know, we're just going to finish that, and then we'll open it up to that discussion as well, or that, um, I'm sorry. Yes. We'll go into the, uh, the rest, but I just want to get to this process and finish up stack, and then we can get the rest. Is everyone okay with that? Is there anything? <clears throat> I would need to hear again. Um, okay, right. So let me, give me just one moment. Okay. So, what I'm saying is that I'd like Teddy to speak again for 30 seconds. Please, Teddy, if you keep to that. Mm -hmm. And then Josh would speak for his three minutes. And then Stack would be closed. That is my proposal right now. And I get a temp check. Everyone for? <coughs> Anyone against? I look like I'm on the fence. Am I correct? Yeah. No. That's fine. And I'm going to do this again. Let's be honest with people. Nobody's perfect. I did not lie one time, but I'm trying to figure out how certain individuals that do certain things have control over the media, the police liaison. When these people have actually come up to me and told me they had these problems, and by me being a counselor, I'm like, let me help you with this. They don't want help. But they still want to be in charge of everything. They still post on the internet. They still do all of these things. I'm rolling right along. You know the truth is a powerful thing, sir. <clears throat> I'm finished with that. Thank you, Teddy. Josh Isher. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying that my mind and my heart are in a thousand different directions right now. <laughs> um, and next by saying that this is probably the biggest step that we've taken as, our, as a collective since we decided to go into Kanawa Plaza because we're talking about kicking somebody out of our radically inclusive movement. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. um, I want to throw just a couple things to keep in mind. I'm still kind of on the fence about everything because I think the language of the proposal is not terribly clear or succinct. Um, but I know of at least two dozen people who don't participate in Occupy Richmond anymore, specifically because Chris Dorsey makes this safe space unsafe for them. That hurts me to know that. It also hurts me to think that it's taken us three months to figure this out. Um, and that I think that tonight we need to be willing to have that discussion. Um, when, when we're talking about excluding someone, 
we, we have to figure out if that means a name, if it means that we're denouncing their very presence, if it means that we're going to have any ability to enforce that. We're in private space right now. What happens when we go into public space? How, how are we going to consider this? Because we, 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 we're trying to write an issue here. But I think that we all need to feel the full weight of what that issue is, and we're kicking somebody out. Um, just a couple things to keep in mind. My brain has gone totally off the deep end in the last hour with everything that's gone on. But other thing to remember, let's just be respectful of one another while we're having this conversation. Because we're getting mad at someone for not respecting us. We need to respect each other while we're trying to figure out the issue. So, I love you all. I think that you're all being incredibly patient. Love you too, Josh. And we're getting somewhere. Yes. Thank you, Josh. So, okay. Right. Stack is now closed. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Um, we now have the options of reopening stack. As much as I would hate that. Um, sorry, sorry. That was my opinion. I'm sorry for it. Um, and then, or moving on to civil amendments. In the interest of fairness, I'm going to put forward the option of reopening stack. Any, all four? All opposed? Okay, stack is not open. All right. Next is civil amendments. Process. I would like to remind everyone that civil amendments are, you propose an amendment succinctly, and then the person in charge of the proposal says yes or no, they don't have to discuss it. And then we carry. In the interest of time, I'd like to step in here and ask the proposer if the proposal is open for civil amendments. Um, I think we've intentionally kept our proposal um, to what it is for a reason. We've considered those many things. We've kept it away for this for a reason. That said, I do not want to say absolutely not because I am open to a reasonable change, but. In mind, we, we've kept this language like it is for a reason. Okay. Okay. So you are. So I am open, but just keep in mind. Okay. A motion um, to go for open to civil amendments. <coughs> um, <coughs> we just go straight into civil amendments. Yeah. Okay. I think so. It's part of. Civil yeah. amendments are part of the formal proposal process. Okay. Although mixed up and confused and ending up in weird parts of the formal proposal process, I mean, a civil amendment section makes sense if it's going to be part of the process. <coughs> okay, so. <coughs> yes, uh, we'll make a stack of for civil amendments. Um, is there anyone who has a civil amendment and if you could please keep it concise? <laughs> Since this has already been very long. Is there anyone? Um, clarification. Is that, Josh has, is that a question or is that a question? Um, it's, well, it's going to be a civil amendment. I was just hoping that for the sake of this process, if we could once again get the proposal in context restated okay. for amending the proposal. Mm -hmm. Well, Sentence, we stand for you today in a collective block asking for the immediate expulsion of Chris Dorsey from all Orva General Assembly and Assemblies, <coughs> meetings, events held on private property, and future occupations. Okay, so anyone for stock on civil women? Vaughn? Um, Ready? We're going to um, get people on stack for civil amendments before hearing. And Josh? Just those three? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I have point information. Oh, yeah, okay. um, This is kind of weird. Uh, because people leaving were part of the collective block is an issue, I just want to let you know I have to go to the bathroom and I'll be right back. Okay. And Ron? Okay. So that's four. Okay. Last call, we will be closing stack on civil amendments. Stack is now closed for civil amendments. Um, could you please speak up the word? Alright, Vaughn? Uh, I was just, um, I was wondering if you could
could create a group or maybe two people that are training conflict resolution and who are assigned to the task if, you know, if he shows up that they would be kind and they would be firm and they would escort him away as soon as, the, as, soon as his presence is acknowledged. Does that make point? Uh, yeah, you, you don't, we don't need to adopt a proposal to form a group. It's my understanding that it's not necessary to have a proposal to form a group. However, it happens from time to time and could very well be part of a proposal. The return to the you you presenter of the I proposal. Understood. Do I respond to that or do I wait for Mary to go around you? Can you do it? Um, since Alan has already gotten, has already started on that front, um, I'll let him answer that. But Personally, I think uh, I, I agree that that's a work group type of thing, and work groups are not meant for proposals. And if I understand the core of her suggested amendment, it's creating an additional layer of something for which we have no way to do. Because do we have anyone within our ranks and midst that we can plug into that process? In, and so I, I would recommend against incorporating that we, as William said, chose this language to specifically focus on this action and then all the others follow. And for that reason I would I would recommend to the co blockers that we decline that amendment. That, um, as the main supporter or proposer that would fall on you. Do you um, accept or decline? Or decline? In respect to decline. Okay. Josh? You can go to the rest of the stack first. Uh, wrong. <clears throat> um, I, I would hate to um, think that we're spending all of this time um, talking about this very, this very important issue um, and put Chris Dorsey on it. There's a lot of Chris Dorseys. If we stay around long enough, there's going to be other people who will, you know, have the same type of, you know, interaction. I would like it to be worded more generally. Um, if someone, especially specifically um, where he stated that um, he outright said that he does not care about the process or respect the process. If it gets to a point of that, that is someone who um, then the facilitation team um, should not um, be call, calling on at all. So, um, I think it's very important that we specify who we're talking about here because of the allegations we have, the other allegations uh, that we have made to specify who it is we're talking about. Um, and then, I'm not, I'm not trying to have any loose language or ambiguous things. I'm be trying to be very straightforward with this, and that the person we're talking about is Chris Dorsey. The person we're having a problem with is Chris Dorsey. Person we need gone is Chris Dorsey. It, no one else in this organization has been as destructive or has caused the problems that, except for Chris Dorsey. Um, so that's why he is specified that we not keep it um, nameless or vague <coughs> to, because it's a very specific issue, a very specific person, for very specific reasons. And to allude to that it, it could be anybody, it's just it's defeated. It's, that specific specific purpose for happiness. So to be concise, do you do you decline? Uh, decline. Yeah. Respect. Again. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Stack is closed. Yeah. Um, can you? All right. Civil amendment from Teddy. You know, I'm just thinking. Like he said, there are other Chris Dorsey's right here in this room. They know who they are. They have Eddie, done things. Please make sure that this is a mm -hmm. concise addition to the My thing also. is this. What are you going to do in the near future when people come to you and ask you for help? Eddie, that they're being violated? Please make sure that this is a concise addition to the proposal. We can't okay. continue. All right. Go ahead. Do I pass. You have I a pass. Amendment? Mm -hmm. I pass. Okay. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. 
Josh? Um, I think that the language of what has been read to us is like a statement from the blockers when what we're trying to do here is pass a proposal that would be a, a consensus point that we would then adopt into our, whatever we call it, our legislation, whatever we want to call it. Um, so I, I think it would be important to make a strong statement of what it is exactly that we're doing and why, so that when, you know, if, if, if anyone ever has to look back at it, they'll see why. So I, I think it should perhaps say something more along the lines of um, Occupy Richmond has consensed um, that Chris Dorsey is excluded from participation in events instead of saying he's expelled because we can't like stick him in a catapult or a potato gun and shoot him out of events, you know? But what we can do is we can just like not call on him at GA, we can not recognize him, or we can not give him uh, slots to speak at, but we don't have our own police force so we can't actually do any of these things yet. Um, and because what we're trying to do is pass a proposal for tonight, and we don't yet have something to do to enforce it, we can still keep the, the language and the sentiment just as strong by saying, like, excluded from participation in events within ORVA, in general assemblies within ORVA, because he has intentionally disrupted our process and created an unsafe space for participation underlying our principles, or something along those lines. In the interest of not making an extended conversation on this, could you make specific, um, a specific uh, language adaption? Um, I would say um, perhaps an addition at the end of the proposal, which would then become the point of consensus saying, and so we resolve the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond that Chris Dorsey is now excluded from participation in any of our events because he has intentionally ostracized himself outside of our code of conduct and values, outside of our vision statement, and creates a space that is unsafe for participation by all who wish to participate. Ooh. Wow. Did anyone write that down? <laughs> oh my god, Josh. A little fast. We have it on camera. It's on film. Um, I, I think that the statement's just as strong. I think uh, the general consensus amongst the bloggers is that it will be fine, uh, that it still achieves the, the goal that we are set, here to set out to achieve. So um, I have no problem with it, because as long as they make our goals. So do you need to talk amongst the other bloggers as to whether you I think uh, if we're in favor of this, yeah, respectfully accept. Um, I'm sure Jonathan is cool. Are you not aware of this? Yeah. Well, then we would, then... We're not all, I mean, we're all individuals in this, so... But, uh, so I mean, I would, I would be, I would like to hear... Um, is... Could, could he, um, all of you have your own, um, oh, okay. Basically, because this is a slightly very different process right now, and there are several people, um, I would like for the I propose for the process to be that um, afterwards, after we hear the next amendment, the the blockers or proposers go back and talk amongst themselves about whether they accept or not. <laughs> Oh, is that the last amendment? Uh, no, it's not an amendment. I just like to put a time limit on that. That's, that would be a mistake. Like right now. So. Um, What's that? I think, got, I think he has a reasonable... Should we hear it? Uh, okay. 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 My issue with that is that the language makes it sound like he would be allowed to come to events, but simply not speak, and that would allow him to keep spouting off the same free speech stuff that he has before, where we're stealing his voice or something. Uh, keeping him away from events would be preferable for me. Oh. Okay. Is this accepted or denied? Um, this is a little bit unorthodox, but... Josh, with those concerns, do you have another, do you have, uh, can, are you able to reword your amendment to um, the justice? Um, we, 
I'm sorry that they, this back and forth um, can't go if we want this to last in a timely manner. Um, although, there, there will be a motion to reopen the stack for, for um, amendments, so possibly we can have that again. I'm just going to say, that's, sorry, I'm going to put my foot down as moderator. That's the only way I see this going forward without opening a huge can of worms and everyone talking over each other. Um, is that specific one accepted or denied in the understanding that I will motion for an opening of amendment stack again? Well, in the, since those who, who are here are not um, fully in agreement, plus there are others who are not, um, wish, who do not wish to be um, identified at the moment, nor, and there's others who are, just can't be here tonight that are blocking, um, who have all agreed upon this language here. Um, I think it would probably be best to stick with this language here. Um, okay, please do not have probably's. I just we need, need a upper down. Straight down. Upper down. Yeah. Upper down. Yeah. I, I, I think since I think the since Josh's proposal, though it is stated, this will achieve the same thing. It's, it's if I do checks. So I'm going to decline the proposal. Okay. Alright, he's declining the motion. The, 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 the I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, now as I understood it, you are also saying that without the consent of everyone who is involved in the block, you cannot accept any amendments. Is this true? I don't feel comfortable. And we can't go with that. Yes. Uh, are, no, I'm saying, like, you need a yes or no. You need a yes or no. Yes or no. 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 Okay. Alright, so okay. let's stop the... There are no more civil amendments. <laughs> okay. I... Okay, who wants... Just whoever's going to... Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about the civil amendment process is. If the people aren't here not to consensus on it. Yeah. Which, is, which was my concern in the beginning. I also... Stacks closed, and there's, I know there's several people, including myself, that would like to offer more civil amendments. I'd like to know right now, because it's going to affect my vote, whether or not you're going to be able to take any more. Um, I think it's, I mean, and let me quickly ask the people that are blocking, would you all feel comfortable accepting an amendment with those that are here, if we all agree upon those amendments, even if those who are not going to be identified or be, section yet again. I would like to talk to the um, my other facilitation team. Please bear with us. Yes.